Okay, this is just a little quick video about the uh, the motor trade. I've got the clock unbolted. This clock does not have the motor that has the start lever like I thought it would have. It actually has a synchronic type motor in it, but it's an older style with the cord built right into the motor. Now this cord is in perfect condition except for in one spot and it's only the outer rayon. I could seal this with uh, super glue so it doesn't fray or tape it and it would be fine. The cord's pliable and and it's really mint. It's very very good shape. Now this is one of my puzzle boxes that I made and I know the Singer sewing machine collectors are not going to like the fact that I cut a hole in this because these boxes can be worth some money but too bad I like the box I like the clock I wanted to make something useful out of it this has the Synchron motor in it I did hold the motor up to the other motor and there's plenty of room for it. The Synchron motor will fit inside of here with no problem. Now like most of them I put the lights in because some of the Penwoods didn't come with lights from the factory and I like them all to have lights. It doesn't hurt its collectible value or anything. Only TV clocks get uh, LEDs. Most of my other clocks get these neon, they're called tube tester shorts. They were sold for tube testers. But they fit the factory sockets, which I've added to the original design, the way Penwood would have had them mounted. These sockets are available at Lowe's Home Improvement. Now what I do at the one side is, as you can see, the bracket, Penwood made their own bracket that went from here to here to mount the uh, light on top of the motor. These sockets come with a long bracket that normally loops around and then back. And what I do is I cut it and then I reform the bracket like that. This is where it would screw into a ceiling fan fixture. So just like in the original clocks it mounts down here and it's brought up on top of the motor. The other one I just cut the bracket short just like the Penwood clocks have and mount it on the side. And sometimes you have to drill and tap threads there, but quite often the, the thread is already there. So I want to put a Synchron motor in this. Now this is a good motor. This is actually looks like a Synchron type motor, but the cord goes directly into the motor and I do plan on putting lights in this. And it would be a shame to cut the cord, which is in mint condition, going right into the motor. And like I said, I think this clock is NOS. It is so clean. This motor's never been used. So I'm still offering to trade this motor for a Synchron. And yes, in order to mount the Synchron motor on there, I'll have to use, see if I can find it, one of these. These are adapter plates that they used in the 1950s because the movements were still designed to have the motor mounted with two screws under here.
and this plate will screw to the side of the movement, converting it over to the modern Synchron motor. But yet it's a factory Penwood part. And is what you would have done to this clock in 1950 if you had this clock and you ordered a new motor for it. This is what they would have given you. These are used in all the 700s, the 710s, the 715s have these. Of course later on they changed their die that they cast the uh, frame with. And by the way this is a punched steel frame. And it has the mounting holes there but it also has a mounting lip there. I also one time had one that was a Bakelite frame that I sold. On this they've extended the tab up and added another screw so that you can screw a Synchron motor directly on. The bottom screw uses one of the holes from the original motor and the other hole which you can't see is actually still drilled but it's not threaded. So if you had an older motor you could put it on a newer frame by simply tapping the threads in this hole and you could mount the motor with the adapter plate or you could even put this motor onto this clock. So let me know if you want this motor. I'll trade this motor for a Synchron motor that I can mount on here because I don't want to cut this cord and I can't add lights to this clock with a continuous cord with no uh, wire nuts or connectors. And I'll trade you flat out this motor for a modern style motor like this. That way you can restore your very old Lawson movement. Well maybe this won't work on the Lawson. But it'll work on some of those other antique ones from the 1950s. The Numicrons.